I heard so little from the other side tonight. It's amazing. This election's in three weeks. Mr. Johnson wants to blow it by the people of Wisconsin that he wants to be a senator, and he won't tell you where he's going to cut spending. He simply refuses to be specific. The only thing he mentioned was TARP, which I voted against, and I've already proposed that we use the TARP funding to reduce the deficit. He also had no plan for jobs. Here's a guy that said he knows how to create jobs. Well, I talked about jobs tax credits. He had absolutely nothing to say about that. I talked about the Hire Act that's already in place. He had absolutely nothing to say about that. He has no plans on jobs, and he has no plans on cutting spending. What's really sad, though, is his country club view of reality when it comes to trade. He thinks these trade agreements are just fine, but they've shipped Wisconsin jobs overseas. A manufacturer who ships, who wants to ship our jobs overseas is not the kind of business person we need in the U.S. Senate. He's against Wisconsin workers, and I'm for them. You seem to reach out to the Tea Party people tonight. Did you feel like you, you've lost them or they haven't been listening uh, to you? I don't think they were the original members of the Feingold Senate campaign, but I reach out to all Wisconsinites. I found that when I voted against the Patriot Act, that some of the most conservative people in the state respected my commitment to the Constitution. Mr. Johnson doesn't have that commitment. Tea Party people know that they've been ripped off by trade agreements and send jobs overseas. Tea Party people know that I stood up against Wall Street. These are things that Tea Party people actually care about. And I will repeat what I said in there. Tea Party people think all kinds of people should be able to be in the U.S. Senate, not just millionaires. Mr. Johnson would be the 70th millionaire in the United States Senate. I'm one of the very few who is not a millionaire. And there's nothing wrong with their being millionaires. But they shouldn't only be millionaires. And I think Tea Party people can relate to that. Ron Johnson said you've done nothing for the deficit. What is your response to that? Well, he simply hasn't taken five minutes to look at my record. I have been responsible for eliminating or cutting programs throughout my time in the Senate, whether it was abuses in Radio Free Europe or the helium program or the wool and mohair subsidy. Recently, I passed a bill in the Senate that <coughs> made sure that transportation earmarks that were over 10 years old would be cut. I, I've been one of the people that anybody in, in the Senate would acknowledge has been very diligent about cutting spending, and it's sad that you're going to have a senator who isn't truthful enough if he, if he were to win. He isn't even truthful enough to admit that I have actually had many successes in that regard. That is a flat-out falsehood that I haven't been able to achieve some of these things. In fact, I've been honored by the Concord Coalition, the Citizens Against Government Waste, and, and even the National Taxpayers Union. I know they hated doing it, but they listed me as one of their five fiscal disciplinarians, the top Democrat in the Senate a, a few weeks ago, because I have such a strong record on spending and I'm specific. Mr. Johnson refuses to tell us anything. He wants to be a stealth senator, and that's not going to happen. You've been standing up for your vote on the health care bill. Bet. But you also um, say it didn't go far enough. You think it should be single payer. And citizens may not want that. And do they think if they vote for you, they will get a health care system that's not what they want? Okay, if that was what I had actually said, that would be fine, but it isn't. Well, I have never for single payer, aren't you? No. I have always said that I thought the single payer system would be better than our current system. But I voted for this bill because I thought it was an appropriate compromise of the views of the country. And that view right now is that we shouldn't turn over all of health care to the government, that we should stick with a private insurance system, but we should have some controls over the insurance industry. So it is a complete fabrication that I prefer the single payer over this bill. I worked on this bill. I think it creates the right compromise to reflect the concerns. But the big thing is we finally get some control over these insurance companies. In a lot of ways, it's like the way we've always done it in Wisconsin. Wisconsin has always had a big a private insurance uh, industry, but we've also had the best regulation through the insurance commissioner. So in some ways, it's like the Wisconsin approach gone national. That's why I voted for the bill. That's what I voted for, and I think that's what I should have to defend, not something that didn't happen. So the uh, Johnson campaign and uh, previous uh, candidates have agreed not to use footage from these debates as part of campaign commercials, and your campaign didn't do that this year. So. Uh, why is, the Why is that? Yeah. Because somebody's trying to become a senator without ever appearing before the people of Wisconsin. <laughs> He's trying to, to be a stealth senator. When he says something and his campaign staff says to him, Ron, you can't say that. You can't say you're for licensing guns. Ron, you can't say that you're for drilling in the Great Lakes. They just change it, and he never has to be confronted. So I am certainly going to make sure that the people of the state know what this guy says. And I don't know if there's anything in this debate we'd want to use. But I don't really believe in this idea that when you hold a public debate, 
why shouldn't the public have an opportunity to see portions of it uh, in the campaign ads? It's the real thing. Instead of uh, these phony campaign ads where you dress some guy up and pretend uh, that he actually is, is connecting with the people of the state, he's been hiding from debates all year. He, he hid from 15 debates and only agreed to do three when half of the general election was over. So, yes, we re reserve the right to uh, portray what happened, and I think it was the right thing to do in this case. It sounds like tonight's debate, in your opinion, was a success. Why? Uh, I think there was just no question that I was the only candidate offering specific solutions and action on issues like cutting spending and jobs. And it's very ironic because all of these ads where he's attacked me and saying that he is the guy that knows how to do this stuff, I'm the guy that knows how to do this stuff, and I think we made it very clear tonight. Your experience in debating helped tonight, I believe? I don't think my experience in debating helped at all. I think the fact that I have experience in cutting spending and helping creating good things like jobs tax credit is the reason that we won the debate. One more, one more question. Listen to some of the dialogue in there and some of the ads. Do you feel like you're reintroducing yourself to folks who may have voted to you in, for you in the past and may not be there for you this time around at all? Well, we're doing very well. Our, our situation is improving every day. And it is true that when you run only once every six years and you don't have ads up all the time and you concentrate on your work, uh, people do need to be reminded of what you've done, that you voted against the trade agreements, that you voted against TARP, that you've been recognized as the most independent member of the Senate, and especially that I've been named the number one enemy of, of the Washington lobbyists. You do have to take some time to remind people of that, but that's my job. I, I'm asking people if I can work for them. So that's, that's a, actually an enjoyable task, to ask to be rehired, and in the past people have seen it that way. I hope people will still want me to work for them. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.